René Descartes, born March 31, 1596, died February 11, 1650, was a French philosopher, mathematician, and scientist who invented analytical geometry, linking the previously separate fields of geometry and algebra. He spent a large portion of his working life in the Dutch Republic, initially serving the Dutch state's army of Maurice of Nassau, Prince of Orange and the Stadtholder of the United Provinces, one of the most notable intellectual figures of the Dutch Golden Age, Descartes is also widely regarded as one of the founders of modern philosophy. Many elements of Descartes' philosophy have precedence in later Aristotelianism, the revived Stoicism of the 16th century, or in earlier philosophers like Augustine, in his natural philosophy. He differed from the schools on two major points. First, he rejected the splitting of corporeal substance into matter and form. Second, he rejected any appeal to final ends, divine or natural, in explaining natural phenomena. In his theology, he insists on the absolute freedom of God's act of creation, refusing to accept the authority of previous philosophers. Descartes frequently set his views apart from the philosophers who preceded him. In the opening section of The Passions of the Soul, an early modern treatise on emotions, Descartes goes so far as to assert that he will write on this topic as if no one had written on these matters before. His best-known philosophical statement is Cogito Ergo Sum, found in Discourse on the Method, 1637, in French and Latin, and Principles of Philosophy, 1644, in Latin. Descartes has often been called the father of modern philosophy, and is largely seen as responsible for the increased attention given to epistemology in the 17th century. He laid the foundation for 17th-century continental rationalism, later advocated by Spinoza and Leibniz, and was later opposed by the empiricist school of thought consisting of Hobbes, Locke, Berkeley, and Hume. In the 17th-century Dutch Republic, the rise of early modern rationalism, as a highly systematic school of philosophy in its own right for the first time in history, exerted an immense and profound influence on modern Western thought in general. With the birth of two influential rationalistic philosophical systems of Descartes, who spent most of his adult life and wrote all his major work in the United Provinces of the Netherlands and Spinoza, namely Cartesianism and Spinozism. It was the 17th century arch rationalists like Descartes, Spinoza, and Leibniz who have given the Age of Reason its name and place in history. Leibniz, Spinoza, and Descartes were all well versed in mathematics as well as philosophy, and Descartes and Leibniz contributed greatly to science as well. Descartes' Meditations on First Philosophy, 1641, continues to be a standard text at most university philosophy departments. Descartes' influence in mathematics is equally apparent. The Cartesian coordinate system was named after him. He is credited as the father of analytical geometry, the bridge between algebra and geometry, used in the discovery of infinitesimal calculus and analysis. Descartes was also one of the key figures in the scientific revolution. Early life René Descartes was born in La Haye en Touraine, province of Touraine, now Descartes, Andre et Loire, France, on March 31, 1596. His mother, Jean Burchard, died soon after giving birth to him. And so he was not expected to survive. Descartes' father, Joachim, was a member of the Parlement of Brittany at Rennes. René lived with his grandmother and with his great uncle. Although the Descartes family was Roman Catholic, the Poitou region was controlled by the Protestant Huguenots. In 1607, late because of his fragile health, he entered the Jesuit Collège Royal Henry Le Grand at La Fleche, where he was introduced to mathematics and physics including Galileo's work. After graduation in 1614, he studied for two years, 1615 to 1616, at the University of Poitiers, earning a baccalaureate and license in canon and civil law in 1616, in accordance with his father's wishes that he should become a lawyer. From there, he moved to Paris. In Discourse on the Method, Descartes recalls, I entirely abandoned the study of letters, resolving to seek no knowledge other than that of which could be found in myself, or else in the great book of the world, I spent the rest of my youth traveling, visiting courts and armies, mixing with people of diverse temperaments and ranks, gathering various experiences, testing myself in the situations which fortune offered me, and at all times reflecting upon whatever came my way to derive some profit from it. In accordance with his ambition to become a professional military officer in 1618, Descartes joined as a mercenary, the Protestant Dutch state's army in Breda under the command of Maurice of Nassau, and undertook a formal study of military engineering, as established by Simon Steven. Descartes, therefore, received much encouragement in Breda to advance his knowledge of mathematics. In this way, he became acquainted with Isaac Bateman, the principal of a Dordrecht school, for whom he wrote the Compendium of Music, written 1618, published 1650. Together, they worked on free fall, catenary, conic section and fluid statics, 
both believed that it was necessary to create a method that thoroughly linked mathematics and physics. While in the service of the Catholic Duke Maximilian of Bavaria since 1619 Descartes was present at the Battle of the White Mountain near Prague, in November 1620. Visions According to Adrian Baillet, on the night of 10 to November 11, 1619, St. Martin's Day, while stationed in Newburgh and Dare Donau, Descartes shut himself in a room with an oven, probably a cockle stove, to escape the cold while within, he had three dreams, and believed that a divine spirit revealed to him a new philosophy. However, it is likely that what Descartes considered to be his second dream was actually an episode of exploding head syndrome. Upon exiting, he had formulated analytical geometry and the idea of applying the mathematical method to philosophy. He concluded from these visions that the pursuit of science would prove to be, for him, the pursuit of true wisdom and a central part of his life's work. Descartes also saw very clearly that all truths were linked with one another, so that finding a fundamental truth and proceeding with logic would open the way to all science. Descartes discovered this basic truth quite soon, is famous I think, therefore I am.